Allie, because I know she's in the kitchen with that fantastic mandolin. Absolutely, like you were saying, this is the way to enjoy summer salads like at their best, Tamara. Right. Thanks so much, we are delighted to make this one available at more than 50% off. These are the colors, just putting that out there. We've got teal, blue, rose, red, black, and silver. But what you will love about this mandolin, which is gonna be the chopping, slicing, grating experience that we hate to do in our kitchens, it does it for you naturally, and watch how this works. By the way, this feed chute is about twice as large as the leading competitor. You're looking that you can adjust the depth or the thickness. Uh, and with that, you can also do the julienne slices or dice these, you know, your products, uh, your foods, cucumber, shoestring, and all of it ends up in the little bucket behind. Nothing is close, no fingers are close to those blades. This is not only a new and improved mandolin, it is from our proprietary a brand here at HSN called Kitchen HQ, and it is extra large, extra safe, and extra savings at a time that we really probably will use it more than ever. See how thin it becomes when you fold it up and you can slide it into a drawer. It doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. It doesn't require power, it's all mandolin. Manual, but it does all the hard work and lets you enjoy all the benefits, just like John Florell, our special guest, joining us to demo how this awesome new design works. I love good it. to see I love you, John. It. <laughs> hey, Kelly, it's good to see you too. Happy weekend. I got to tell you, mandolins have been around forever. We've all seen them, used them maybe over the years. A lot of people are very nervous to use a mandolin because of all the sharp parts. That's what Kitchen to HQ has, has uh, basically eliminated here. There's no sharp edges anywhere that you can get your fingers. You're going to take a potato, tomato, onion, whatever you wish, put it in the chute in the front of the machine, and then right here is a little pusher. All you're going to do is push that down. It automatically comes back up, and all of the slices go into the little catcher in the box. Now, what I love about this, when you get down close to your fingers, okay, you can't get your fingers down in the chute. So we give you this pusher that feeds the vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese down through the blades so you never waste anything. And Callie, you can't cut yourself. It's the safest mandolin I've ever seen. But here's why people love the mandolin. Because you get uniform, perfect slices. So it's not like a knife where you get one thick slice, then you get one thin slice, then you get one finger slice. These are all the same, so they'll cook up at the same time. So if I put a red, ripe, juicy tomato in the front of this machine, watch what happens, because for slicing alone, you're gonna absolutely love this, but it's also super adjustable. So if this slice is too thick, okay, which I think that's perfect for backyard barbecued hamburgers, for uh, maybe oh, yeah. it's a, 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 who knows? I mean, every time you wanna slice tomatoes, but if you want them thinner than that, watch this, because it's so versatile. I call this dial a slice. Right back here in the back of the machine, <laughs> there's a little dial. And you dial the slices, the thickness of the slice that you like, from super thin to medium, like I just did that tomato, all the way up to super thick. You have 40, 40 different slicing wow. thicknesses. So if I want to slice thin, I'll take an onion, put it in the top of the machine here, and look at this. You can slice onions for salad, sandwiches. I'll tell you, you're going to love this for sauteed peppers and onions, steak and onion, liver and onion, for potatoes and onion, for thin sliced onions for your heroes or hamburgers. They come out absolutely beautiful, but it does more than just onions. I always say, you know, for a couple bucks a finger, it's worth it for just the way it slices <laughs> well, an onion. And, and the but, truth is, I mean, this is normally twice the price as what it's being featured at today during our Saturday morning show. Right. So first come, first serve, you've got dibs. Te uh, if you want the teal or the turquoise, we have less than 600. Wow, almost 600 gone already, but this color is very, very close to selling out. We have the royal blue, we have the rose, we have red, black, silver. We have already sold out of the white. So needless to say, I mean, to have this kind of help in the kitchen. John, it's the consistency of every single slice. Even if you're it a is. professional with a knife, there is no way you can get that kind of consistency. Exactly, and I mean, I'm slicing this, this cucumber perfect for bread and butter pickles, or mm. cucumber salad. You'll nickel down carrots for canning, sliced beets for pickling. But I gotta tell you, Callie, what I love this for, we make a lot of homemade pizzas, and I love it for the cooked meats. Like, I can take an entire stick of pepperoni, put it in the top of the machine, 
and I can slice pepperoni perfect for pizza, okay? If you like them thicker, you can make thicker pieces. If you like them thinner, you can make them thinner pieces. And, oh, it's not just for pepperoni. I mean, look at how perfect uh, these slices come yes. out of there. It's absolutely perfect for pizza. But look, even for things like how about any cooked meats, like the salami, uh, uh, pepperoni. Here's some smoked sauce or some summer sausage. Now, if you want it thicker than this, okay, which that's a, a very thin slice, all you do is turn that little dial. And I'm gonna show you these little, these other ones too. But look at this, perfect for a cheese, and a meat and cheese cracker tray. I mean, just for those quick things that you wanna do that you don't wanna take the time to take out a heavy food processor, take the time to set it up and clean, and, you know, it gives you more consistent slices than a knife. But watch this, Cal. Here, let me get this little piece of meat out of here. We'll do one last slice. These little bars right here on the back of the machine, there's two different bars. And when you slide those up, they give you uh, teeth that pop up inside the machine. Nothing that you can get your fingers uh, near. But if you take both of those, it doubles the amount of teeth. So watch what happens now. Instead of slicing an onion, here, I'll put this onion in the machine right out here in the front. And watch this because... The tears uh -huh. you get chopping onions, I mean, think about it like this. I just chopped that entire onion before you even have time to cry. <laughs> it's <laughs> perfect for tuna fish or chicken salad, for homemade meatloaf. And you know what I'm gonna, I love it too, is it's the time that this machine saves you. How much time does it take to chop celery? Here, I'm gonna slide one of those back. I'll give you a thicker chop for the celery for homemade stuffings, for soups, stews. Uh, for home, I mean, if you want to add this to your chicken salad, red salad, tuna fish, look at that. It comes out absolutely beautiful. There is no way and I could do that. No way. There's no strings attached. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Very well but, said. Let's face it. Okay. Hey, celery is not necessarily the easiest thing to chop with a knife. And with this machine, it makes it so simple. But I always say, if you just use it for slicing, I mean, it's worth it for I that you, because of the it perfect is. uniform Every slices. time, and no fingers get even close. I mean, old, old versions of mandolins, it was, they were dangerous. I mean, I've always loved a mandolin. It's been my personal right. favorite kitchen gadget for years, decades, but the old-fashioned kind didn't even have the, you know, the finger guard. This, there is nothing even close. The blades are all integrated inside. This is the only movement you're doing. There is nothing easier and nothing more effective than giving that consistent slice or dice. You can do julienne, you can see all the kind of different products. I mean, from the hard cheeses and salamis to the soft things and vegetables and tomatoes. I have to update, I know we are extremely busy on this one. I mean, it's better than 50% off. If you want the teal, last call. Best sellers right now are the black and the red, but we do have the rose, we have the blue, we have the silver, we have sold out of the white. We are at almost a thousand gone in what, five, six minutes? This is a steal of a deal, and it is, honest to goodness, gonna be your best friend. None of us, it's true, John, I mean, chopping an onion, it's for starting with, you know, the cry, but then it's just the, the challenge to get consistent slices and dices and all the things you yeah. can do here in this close-up shows you what John just demoed for us live. I love, too, those little suction feet so it doesn't go sliding across the counter, right, John? Yep, and it folds up flat, fits right in any knife drawer. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing too, Callie, is when you see it every day, you'll use it every True. day. You know, this isn't one of those big machines that you put up on the top shelf in the garage. Look at this, I'm julienning perfectly a zucchini for salad, okay? Uh, you can do the same thing with beets, apples, carrots, pears. You see, it's the same thing. Instead of dicing an onion, you get a perfect julienne on any solid vegetable. So, and I just did the thin julienne. But watch this, just by sliding that bar over, now, instead of uh, giving you a thin julienne, I can make french fries by the pounds. I'll make french fries by the pounds. In fact, I can make enough french fries to feed my whole neighborhood with this machine. I mean, <laughs> homemade french fries, sweet potato fries, french fries, and it, they all go into the bowl. Now, you don't have to use this little catcher. I like it because it catches most of the food. You can also do this right out on your countertop or tabletop. So if I wanted to make carrot sticks and julienne them thin, I'm gonna take a carrot and put it in the top of the machine and look at this, julienne and carrots is a dream with this machine. Here's the other thing I like about it too. I'm gonna go back to slicing. I'm gonna slice a, a little bit thinner. You, with, with that extra large chute, I can do one radish. Good or point. Or I can do a whole handful of radish. Good point. Okay, look at this, I can load this up. And here, I'll put the tray under here because my wife will get mad if I start making too much of a radish. <laughs> look at this. I'm slicing like maybe what, a, a dozen radishes all at one time, and that's how fast it works. But the consistency of the slices 
is what makes this machine so unique. And that's why every professional chef in the world has a mandolin in their kitchen tool arsenal because of that precision slicing. So every time you push down on that, uh, on that bar on top, if I wanted to slice an apple for, uh, you know, for homemade apple pie, or maybe I'm dehydrating, I get perfect, uniform, thin slices, and I don't waste anything because of that push. And, you know, you mentioned the other options of, you know, the processors that we could spend four or $500 right. on, and, yeah, they might right. do some slicing, but, oh, my gosh, 20 bucks? This is on sale. This is an amazing <laughs> product at a great price. And, again, the shoot is about twice the size as what's common in the marketplace. And, of course, this is new and improved from Kitchen HQ. John, huge thanks to you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thanks, Kelly. You're making me hungry. Like I tell everybody, two bucks a finger is better than using one of these old knuckle busters, right? <laughs> it's so, I mean, I laugh, but it's so true. It's I've been there. I have, you know, too many experiences on that. By the way, 776941. If you want that teal, you have to get on the phones right now. Black and red flying out of here. We have rose, blue.